Okay, so keep going. Uh, session 2.3, number 10. So earlier we learned how to use remainder theorem to find the remainder. And the number 10, um, so this is divisor. This is a quotient. This is a remainder. So this is the quotient. <clears throat> so quotient will be here. Um, let me show you the synthetic. Um, the reason why I didn't show the synthetic division is because each coefficient is kind of long. So if we put we do the synthetic division, we have negative 3 and the plus 20, plus 2. Take away for you want to do the very far away each number. Let me erase this mark so I have more space. Okay. And the k is a very long number. I think this is kind of hard. Even though I can do it, no problem. But I didn't remember when I was young as a student. My teacher gave me this type of question. This, I think, is too much. But anyway, um, I, I will show you. I already used the kind of long division without x without x or x cubed. So I kind of already done, but I, right now I'm doing the synthetic division. I put the negative 3 here, and the next negative 3 multiply with uh, 4 plus 6, uh, root 6. So I'm going to have this number. So I will write down negative 12, take away 3 square root of 6, and the plus together, I will have this number. So I will write down plus a minus 3 square root of 6. And <laughs> OK. And uh, this number multiply with this one, well, it's harder to multiply, right? After multiply, you can go home multiply by yourself. And uh, then you are going to have this number. <laughs> 50 minus 4 square root of 6 and the after plus together you are going to have this one is 52 minus 4 square root of 6 and then these two numbers multiply again so you are going to have this one plus 204 plus 36 square root of 6 okay so these two multiply to, uh, plus together you are going to have the remainder Or equals to this number. Okay, so this is my synthetic division and uh, <laughs> too crowded here. Now our remainder, this number, when it's remainder, so on the last uh, um, video, we, we prove, let me try one more time, if you have a function and then if you want to divide by x minus k, then you are going to have quotient plus the remainder. So if we plug in k to the x, then you are going to see this is a 0. So 0 multiply anything will be still 0. Therefore, you have f of k equals to the remainder. And because our divisor is just 1 degree, so our re remainder just the 0 degree, need to be smaller than 1 degree, so it's just a real number. So that's why f of k 
equals to the remainder. Okay, and the f of x, I didn't write down everything right. f of x equals to the f of x is longer than this number. I, my answer is not quite correct. f of x equals to the divisor. This k is this number, okay? Times quotient plus remainder. What's the remainder? 164 plus 36 square root of 6. Okay? Here is number 10. And the number 11. Use the remainder theorem and the synthetic division to find the function value. Now g2 means x equals to 2. I don't see anything hard. Just x is 2. You use calculator, you can find the answer. But actually g2 is the remainder from the function g. Okay? So you have two choices. You want to input the 2 to the function to find the remainder. Or you want to use a synthetic division? I say this is the middle part if you need. Okay, so they are the same thing, but this is synthetic. Then you find, after you divide, you are going to find the quotient and the remainder. Right now, we only need the remainder. So if you feel like this way is easier, then use calculator to plug in number. This, you have this one or this one. Both are fine. Okay, You can plug in the number or you can do the division and the remainder is the same thing. This is the remainder. So the rest I will let you try by yourself. You can try your own homework question. Number 12. Number 12. K equals to Y. This is a K. So K is negative 5, not a 5. K is negative 5. So you may either use long division or you want to use a synthetic division. Uh, they ask you to use a synthetic division. Then you need to use a synthetic division. Then after divide, this is the quotient. S square X. So S square minus 5X minus 14 times the x minus negative 5, okay? So x minus negative 5 is the divisor. And the remainder is 0. The remainder is 0. Now, after you have the quotient, you may keep going. Factor by 4 year. You can factor the quotient to two factors. So you can totally, completely factor this function, this polynomial to become three factors. Then, if you want to find the zeros, zeros will be, you make a x plus y equal zero, you solve for x. x plus two solve for zero, x equal negative two. x minus 7 equal 0, you solve for x. So you find the, all the zeros. Number 13. This question is similar to number 11. It's very long. The divisor, the k, number k is kind of very long. So, um, if you want to try synthetic division, just make sure you have a big size, big space for you to write down. And if you try to plug in, I don't think you plug in, this k will be easier to calculate. Okay. Number 
Now there's one concept I assume you learned from algebra two, but probably you don't remember. It's something called conjugate. Conjugate means when you have a if x equals to 2 minus square root of 5 is one of the solution, then automatically you have another solution conjugate as a solution. So if I if I tell you 2 minus square root of 5 is a solution, then it means I also telling you the conjugate is also a solution. So at least you have these two solutions. Okay. Now if you have these two solutions, if you have these two solutions, you multiply together. This is one of the factors you may have. And then you can use this factor to find out what's the last answer. Let me show you more. Oh, I didn't show more. Okay. So number 13. Mm, let me see. Okay. So if you use division to find the quotient, this quotient, the Coefficient is kind of complicated. So I need to write down that. Okay, so that's why it becomes zero. Now, um, I will Try this way. So you may multiply these two conjugates together. So this polynomial s q uh, take away two x squared minus nine x take away two. This one because they do have these two root, so means s take away this one and the x take away the other root so 2 minus square root of 5 2 plus square root of 5 and then they multiply something else they will be equal so this will be the new quotient here you want to find it and you can use long division to do it. This long division you just use, um, but first you need to multiply these two. These two I show you the work, okay? So let me erase all the marks here. Erase all the marks. Let me show you what's the so from here. Here. Okay, this is one cool about the calculation. These two multiply together, you have one of the big factors. Okay, so this is a function f of x. At this, there's one factor. And how about the other factor? How you find it? You use long division. I didn't show the work here, but how come I have answer? It's weird. Um, I think you may just go ahead to do long division. And then you can find this number. Okay. Next section, we are going to teach you how you guess this number. I think probably I 
I guess this number and the double check to see is right. I can use the synthetic division to, to guess if this is right answer or not. I can show you this way. Okay. So s cube take away 2 s square take away 9 x take away 2. And then I guess because there's a negative 2 there, this one there, I will show you. Um, in this class, we are going to teach you how we can guess. But right now, I just say if I can guess if minus 2 and then minus 2 plus plus become negative 4 and then multiply become positive 8 plus negative 1 negative negative become positive 2. Yes. So if I guess correctly, then this will be the quotient. And this will be the rebound. Therefore, and this is the device. Okay. And you can see this quotient is here. Right? Now, how about if you you say, teacher, I have not learned how to guess the answer yet. Then you need to use long division. Use long division. You have s cube minus 2 s squared, take away 9 s, take away 2, and the divide by this number. s squared, s squared minus 4 x minus 1. Try, try x. So you have s cube, take away 4 x squared. Take away x and then subtract and then keep going. Keep going, you are going to have x plus 2. Okay? I think it's pretty soon we can finish. Let me finish this one for you. So subtract negative 2, take away negative 4 will be positive x squared. Negative 9, take away negative x become take away ax and then take away 2. Then you choose plus 2, you can have. 2s square take away ax take away 2 and as such you have 0. So if you already they provide the, the conjugate as the factor, so you have a you multiply you have a big factor here. And this factor becomes to the divisor. And then you try to find the quotient by the long division. Okay, so um, this one way, or you can wait for next section. We are going to teach you how to guess a new uh, factor, and then we can double check if you guess right, the remainder need to be zero. Then it become a factor. Otherwise, you want to plus a remainder, right? If remainder not zero, then you cannot uh, um, even if Factored. Okay, so let me erase this one. Oh. Okay, now number fourteen. Wow, number 14 is very long. 14, 15. Okay, very long. Two more questions, then we are done for this section. So, number 14. Um, number 14, this question, the question itself already show you pretty much the synthetic division. Okay, so if they already tell you, this polynomial have has two factors. So if you divide by first factor, guarantee the remainder is zero. You divide by the second factor, you guarantee the remainder is zero and the k equal to negative four, right? K equal to five. Depends on this number. And uh, we learn how to do it. You can just try by yourself. But uh, let me show you something easier. Is 
since the both are the factors, it means f of x equals to s plus 4 times s minus 5 times something and the plus 0, right? Uh, times something, something because we have 4 degrees something and the plus 0. Plus 0 means no remainder, just no. Okay, now how you find out more quotient? <clears throat> you first, yes, you divide by x plus 4. So you are going to, so we say f of x is x plus 4 times what? This one. a x cubed minus 13, a x squared minus 13 x plus 15. Okay. Okay. Now, if you want to keep going and finding new factors, you don't need to start all over from the original function. Basically, you may use this one to factor. You may use this one to factor. So this one is x minus 5. So from here, let me write down, you have x plus 4, right? And now f of x equals 2. And then this one, you don't need to use the original f of x equals to ax, both take away this s cube, and one of this y s squared plus 37 s. Plus 16. You don't need to always use the original function to divide. Since you already have a new quotient, then we use the new quotient to divide by x minus 5. Okay? So, uh, let me erase all of this and then I'm going to show you what's the best work. Okay, so let me erase this. These two are the same, same division. Okay, I just copy down. And then once I divide by x plus 4, this will be the quotient. And this will be remainder. So this is remainder is gone. Okay. And then I'm going to use this one to do another synthetic division. Make sense? This quotient. Okay. So it means so here it means f of x is equals to x plus four times a x cubed minus thirty a x take away thirteen x. Minus thirteen x and the plus fifteen. Okay, so right now I try to factor, keep going factor this part. I want to factor this part only. Okay, and then this part I assume I have x minus y. So I divide by k equals to 5. Now I will have, let me use red color, so 5, so 8, 40, plus 2, 2 times 5, 10, plus together, negative 15, plus 0, see? So 0 is gone. 
So this is the new quotient. So after that, you supposed to have keep going. F of x supposed to be x plus four, and then because we notice we have x minus five, right? So that's why we keep going and divide this part to x plus five, x minus five, and then you have new quotient a x square plus 2x minus 3. Now, this one, you may factor by 4 here. Okay? So it becomes f of x is x plus 4, x minus 5, and then I keep going on factor to 2x minus 1, 4x plus 3. So we say this one, you factor by 4 here. So you can keep going, and then you completely factor, totally factor the function f. And after we do all the parts, then they ask you to write down two more factors. Okay, so I show all the work here from the original function. And then you have one factor, two factors. After these two factors, then you factor this one. Okay. So the whole thing, you make a, this whole thing, you write down your answer here. Okay. And then if you want to make it, it equal zero, solve for zero, right? If you want to solve for zero, then you make each factor equal to zero. You make this one equal to 0, x will be negative 4. You make this one equal to 0, x will be 5. Make this one equal to 0, it will be 1 half. Make this equal to negative 3 over 4. So when, when you are looking for zeros, means x intercept. Okay, so you are going to graph all the x intercept here. And remember, you are, we did learn the end the behavior, right? So you have x force, a x force, right? x force, part of infinity to the fourth degree become part of infinity. And a negative infinity. Negative infinity to the fourth degree is also part of infinity. Okay. So both going up to the positive. Okay. So this this one is the right choice. Last one. <clears throat> Simplify. Simplify. When we talk about simplify for the fraction, rational means fraction. When we want to simplify the fraction, you want to reduce. Simplify fraction means reduce. And how to reduce? You have to factor. Right? Basically, you have to factor and then reduce. I need to do the right order. So, in order to simplify the fraction, first you have to factor. And then after factor, you reduce. So, how you factor? Denominator is easy to factor. Right? So, you have this and uh, how about the numerator numerator if you want to reduce you want to have the numerator can be factored to something with x plus 2 or x minus 2 or both so we can test to see 
we guess. How about if our answer is x plus 2? If x plus 2, then you need to choose k equals to negative 2 and the try. I did try, so it didn't work. Didn't work means the remainder not zero. So, so this one, this one, if you try to divide by x plus 2, you may find one quotient, but you also find a remainder not zero. If remainder not zero means you cannot factor. So this one doesn't work. So I try already, doesn't work. So then I try. If we are lucky, we have a factor x x minus two. When the the um if the factor one of the factor is x minus two means the k equals to positive two. So I divide by I choose two to do the synthetic division and the remainder is zero. That's good. Okay, so this will be the quotient here. This is the quotient. Okay. And this quotient, you may keep going to divide. <clears throat> oh, okay. So I think S plus 2 works. Just I didn't try S plus 2 first. Sorry, I say wrong. When I did the homework, I try to I try which factor first. I try this factor first. Uh, but it doesn't mean this one not. Okay, this one I tried later, it also works. Sorry about that. So if I first try negative 2, should be also remainder 0. But um, I try x minus 2 as a factor first. So the k is 2. When k is 2, this is the quotient. And uh, this quotient, I try x plus 2 right now. So I try x plus 2 here. And uh, it also remainder is 0. So let me show you here. So I use synthetic division for you. 1 plus a plus 11 minus 2. And uh, this time I try negative 2. Means I want to try x plus 2. 1, negative 2 plus 6, negative 12, negative 1 plus 2. So remainder is 0. Yes, so this is the quotient s square plus x minus y. So this question, um, why I try x plus 2 or x minus 2? Because I try to reduce with my denominator. If not these two factors, I cannot reduce with my denominator. That's why I prefer. I can factor two. My I have two these two factor in my uh, in my uh, dividend. Okay, so okay, well, so this one I'm not able to factor by four year, but I how I factor? I try to use quadratic function to solve for it. So pretend x squared plus x minus 1 equals 0. I solve for x. So I solve for x. I find the two answers. So it means if I factor 2 x minus x minus, it will be this one. Okay. Now, x minus 2, x plus 2, x plus 3 plus square root of 10, x plus 3 
minus square root of 10. So if you plug in this one for the plus one and the, the other one you plug in with the minus one. Okay, so you have this one. And the divide by s minus 2, s plus 2. What do you have? Then we may reduce and reduce. So in the end, we have s plus 3 plus square root of 10 times s plus 3 take away square root of 10. So then I complete the question number 15. They ask you to divide. Divide the s square minus 4. This is this is s square minus 4. This one is s square minus 4. Same thing. Okay. So this is the answer over there. This is the final answer. Okay. So I'm done with session 2.3. 2.3 is a very important foundation. And then we use this remainder theorem. We use the remainder theorem to factor a higher degree. High degree polynomial. Okay, so keep going. 2.4, we are going to learn more skill to factor higher degree polynomial. So see you next time. Bye-bye.